<laughs> Christian, you, between you and Zach, obviously you have good leadership in the defensive line room. So Austin probably doesn't need to tell you guys what you need to do more of. Did you or uh, did you or Zach talk to each other as a group, the five of you in the room, before this game saying what you all need to do more of as a defensive line collectively, whether it's more impact plays or whatever? Um, you know, I think, you know, to your point, you know, we do a pretty good job of just like trying to keep the main thing the main thing and having a, a, a steady focus and understanding what it is we're being asked of to do on this team, within the defense, whatever it is. And, you know, we got a lot of guys who are, you know, humble and willing to do whatever it is that we need to do. Um, so, yeah, there was definitely just some more of an emphasis this week. Obviously, you know, we had a bad taste in our mouths after the previous week. So, like, we you know, we just wanted to clean some things up, just learn from it and, you know, have a better outing, you know, uh, yesterday, so. What do you think has led to this recent run down with the ABG and the way he's playing right now? Um, well, I mean, me and Ginko way back, man. That's my dog, uh, you know, so I always knew, uh, you know, like, you know, you always seen it in him, seen the things he can do, so I'm glad he's able to get some some praise and some recognition because, uh, you know, he puts a lot of work in. And, I'm happy for my guy, so um, you know no one's rooting for him more than me. I'm just you know happy to see him have success. Christian, uh, this week uh, you all are back home again. Um, how does it feel not knowing knowing that you don't have to go on the road for a game, uh, but be able to play in front of our home fans? At the next yeah, uh, so far it's been great playing at home. Uh, you know the the fans have been great. The energy in the in the stadium has been awesome. So it's been a lot of fun. But you know there's just a Another added element when you don't have to travel, things like that. You know, you're kind of just in your environment. You have your routine and things like that. So that's always nice to be able to play at home and to be able to have two weeks back to back at home. But, you know, just excited to put on a show anytime you go into that stadium. So, yeah. the game Zach had yesterday? No, Zach had a great game. Um, you know, it was just it's good to see again, like, you know, guy who works so hard, you know, it's good to see him have some success like that and have a have a big game like that. So, yeah. Do you expect the uh, Panthers to come out with desperation as they're seeking their, their first one of the season? Uh, honestly, I mean, again, like, you know, this is this is the NFL, so, like, you know, each week is, regardless of records, regardless of what's going on, um, you know, it's, it's always going to be a tough out regardless. Um, yeah, and, and now I'm sure, I mean, you know, you're always, you know, I've been on teams where, you know, you struggle to get that first win and anything like that, so you know you have that extra sense of motivation. You're just so hungry for it and, you know, and, you know, so I'm, I'm sure they might have a little something extra or, you know, just motivation. But, you know, the responsibilities for you and Zach in this defense changed much at all from Josh's defense or is it pretty much the same thing you're asked to do, you and him, in this system? Uh, well, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, regardless, we got to play with good technique and, and do our jobs at a high level. So no matter what scheme you're in, no matter what it is, you know, if you want to be a good D lineman, you got to play with good technique and do your job at a high level. When the offense scores, you're always down there so quickly. Like, what goes into that? Are you just ready to sprint? Uh, because I know you're on uh, the uh, extra point team. Yeah. So, I mean, how are you getting down there that fast? You're the only um, other guy that's not on offense that's in the celebration. Well, you know, I got to show off my speed a little bit. Uh, no, but definitely, I, I enjoy that stuff. That's a lot of fun for me. I, I you know, it, it's... It's, it's a fun time in the game. I'm just having fun out there, and it's nice to see a lot of guys who work hard, you know, have success, get in the end zone, do things like that. So I like to join the fun. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty geared up and ready to go and get out there quick. So, um, yeah, I'm yeah, probably faster than, than than most out there. But, yeah, so it, it's fun. Are you more ready when they're in the red zone and you can go about as far as you can? If it's a long touchdown, do you have yeah, to Yeah, then those, those the long touchdowns, a lot of time you don't send me out there because i got to <laughs> save some energy or whatever, you know, on that. On that cheetah, I spent it, on the cheetah long ball, I spent it straight to the field goal. I wasn't going over to celebrate because that was a long one. But, but yeah, I had to save some energy there. I guess know. if there was one missing element to this team, it'd be forcing turnovers. Uh, what, what's gone into that? What's been the issue? Yeah, we just definitely got to make it happen. It's something we emphasize and practice, you know, and, and try and focus on, um, you know. And I, I feel like we have the right mindset when it comes to that. So... Again, if you, you get what you emphasize, so like as we continue to emphasize, practice it and try to make that happen, I'm, I'm sure they'll come eventually. So. What's it say about this team? I think you're minus three on the season and you're four and one and big point differential and all that. I feel like the uh, biggest thing is just having each other's back. Like when there might be times here when, 
you know, defense, whatever, and the offense picks it up, or offense, whatever, you know, our special team, someone picks it up. So we, I feel like we're good at having each other's backs, um, you know, but we're still fighting hard and working hard to, the, you know, to have more consistent, more complete games from everybody, you know. So I feel like that, that you know, we'll get, we're getting closer to that. We're trying to be better each week, um, and it'll eventually happen. Christian, what are your thoughts on the evolution of the water? You had a that, that was the best one I seen yesterday. That was that was really good, and with the whole wind up and everything, that was that was official. No one told me about that. That was a that was a true surprise to me. That was that was well done, um, but I love it. You know, Jalen's definitely taking that thing and run with it and having more fun with it, and it's and it's his deal. Um, so it's it's always cool and always fun. That one was very collective after a lot of people involved doing their own rendition of the waddle. Yeah, who had the best one? Who had the, the worst one? Um, I don't know. I really didn't. I really didn't look into it that much, but it was just fun. It was just good to see everybody join in on the fun. Can you believe how far these celebrations have come from the no fun league? Right. Yeah. 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 No, definitely. Um, and I think it's cool. I think it's just you know, it's it's nice that now you know you can do things like that and just make it you know more fun and you know, and it's good when you get teammates involved and everything like that. It's just it's just cool. It's just fun and you know guys can have a little moment to just do their thing. You just can't give the ball to your mom. Right, yeah, <laughs> without getting in their fit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> what does a 4 and one start uh, mean to you, I guess, coming from last year to this point, um, seeing the trajectory of the team go? So, yeah, yeah. I, honestly, um, I mean, it's obviously good to be 4-1. and one. Um, You know, obviously you would want to be 5-0. and oh. um, But at this point in the season, it doesn't really mean much, realistically. Um, there's so much more ball to be played. And again, we haven't, I, I feel like we haven't fully hit our stride or playing our best ball yet as a team. Doesn't mean we won't get there, but you know, I, I think we have the right guys, the right leadership, the right mindset, you know, coaches, everybody um, to eventually we'll get to the point where we're playing our best ball. So it's just a good start for now, but we want to keep improving each week. I know how the season ends will be probably what you guys most remember many years from now. But as you sit and watch this offense, whether it's just watching highlights from home or when you're on the sideline, do you, do you ever watch and say, boy, I'm witnessing something special with the speed, the execution, what we put together offensively? Yeah, I mean, kind of you're just in the moment for the most part. Um, you know, you're not thinking historic or anything like that. I'm just enjoying it. Like, like, I, like I say, like it's a little added motivation for me to get off the field just to watch our offense go. Um, and get the ball back into those guys' hands because um, it's just, you know, um, you know, it's just fun to watch. I enjoy watching our guys and, again, competing against them and training camp and in practices. You know, you want to see how guys do, and I know they feel, the <clears throat> they feel the same for us. You know, a lot of the times you don't even know guys are watching. They're like, oh, great game, or I saw this, or I saw that. So, you know, it's we all definitely enjoy watching each other play and being a part of each other's journey and, you know, and, and being there for each other been a part of teams where you don't have that margin for error like the defense feels like every single drive it's on you how much is not release not the word but different does it feel this year um at the at the end of the day you just want to you know whenever you have to be out there no matter how many snaps you have to play you want to you know be playing good ball regardless of you know if you're out there every play or out there a few snaps or whatever so i feel like that's more of the focus is just doesn't matter how many snaps you got to be out there? Just make sure you're playing good ball and playing at a high level. Christian, you uh, used uh, Dexter Lawrence's absolutely celebration. I did. Yeah. Was that intentional? Of course. Um, yeah, that's my that's my fat little brother. Um, you know, so I, I had to rub it in a little bit. Uh, you know, and got to do his uh, sack celly, which was a lot of fun for me. I had to had to had to do that. I'm, I was playing that probably since I knew we were playing the Giants, honestly. So it, it was good to be able to do that.